They say variety is a spice of life, and that is certainly from the school of thought that Rick Henderson comes from. It's the latest retro shoot 'em up that's been ported over to console from East Asia Soft. East Asia Soft loves a retro shoot 'em up. I swear they port over like one a month. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, because these games are great fun usually, and they always take me back to my childhood when I was sent with 50p off to the arcade to get out of the house for the day. (laughs) I'd be trying to like scrounge around getting all of these retro shooters up in my face. And that's exactly what uh, Rick Henderson gives me deep vibes of. There's no uh, story, there's no anything, you're just straight into the action. And the idea around this is that it's five levels looped continuously, getting harder and harder and harder. But every time you play, not only is the level layout procedurally generated, but there are also randomly generated events that take place in each level as well. So you'll get variants upon variants of levels. But even then, the enemies themselves and their attack patterns, and in particular the boss battles, are picking from a variety of move sets that change, I'm sure dependent on the ship that you choose early on, but also just how you've upgraded your ship at the end of each level too. Because you can meet the same boss ten different times and have ten very different arguments with it and battles. And that is what keeps Rick Henderson fresh and replayable and ultimately one of the best retro shoot-em-ups that East Asia Soft has ported over onto console. So let's dive into some of the mechanics of this because there's a few interwoven mechanics that kind of hold together that make the game good. So firstly, there are three different types of weapons and you're equipped with all three to begin with. You've got a bullet one, an energy one and a missile one. And each of those weapons does different levels of damage to different types of enemies, whether they've got an energy shield up, whether they're armoured, plated, or whether they're just basic ships. Uh, Bosses also receive extra damage from missiles because bosses are heavily armoured plated, so that's always worth knowing up front. However, those three weapons have nine variations so you can pick up up to 27 different weapon types as you go through the game and you'll start to get comfortable with certain loadouts of those weapons as you go along which is great. The trick here is that some are homing, some are more powerful than others, some have more uh, widespread effect but the more powerful ones give you recoil and that's more trickier in the later levels because It might be that there's so much enemy fire, you just recoil yourself into that enemy fire whilst trying to, like, blast your way through. So you need to kind of balance them off, and you'll find your own natural uh, kind of favourites as you go through those 27 weapons. In addition to those 27 weapons, you also have a special power-up, which is tied to each individual ship. So one sends in a barrage of missiles, another one has a warp get-out-of-jail-free if you're going to be trapped in a corner, and the other one is, like putting out a clone which means all of the enemies go to that instead of you which gets you out of a sticky situation too. There's also a graze mechanic so every time you narrowly miss 10 enemy bullets or lasers some support will come out and it's two little pilots and then they can come and shoot alongside you. Very handy. I seem to trigger it accidentally in loads of boss fights. Um, It's quite difficult to do on purpose if you know what I mean Um, but in the boss battles it's quite handy to have and you'll be finding that the recharge between that and your special kind of attack comes around quite quickly especially in boss battles so they're very useful to repeatedly use time and time again. At the end of each level you get to unlock a choice of one of four randomly generated perks or uh, like improvements. Some of them are detrimental so they're things like double the rate of asteroids Or, um, like, the bosses have double HP but offer double points. And you're thinking, hmm, this could be bad. But the other ones are things like improving the uh, attack, uh, like, of a certain type of bullet by 10%. Or reducing asteroids by half. Or changing up, uh, like, your score multiplier or something like that. And they're quite handy. And I think, but I can't be 100% sure, that they're tied to the last mechanic in this game called Ranks. 
Ranks are six different coloured badges, and you need to collect one of each through clearing out random enemies. They don't just seem to be tied to waves of enemies. You know how in different shoot 'em ups when you get like five of the same enemy come through, and if you clear all five, it often drops like an extra special power up or something like that. Rick Henderson doesn't seem to follow that trait. It just seems to be randomly assigned to an enemy. But you'll drop one of these six ranks, and then once you've collected them all, you'll level up. I feel like this is tied to making the end of level updates better and juicier for you. I also think it's tied to increasing the difficulty of the game as you go through progressively level and level and level two. But it also seems to increase some of the rewards that you get. So it's a bit of a trade-off. And a lot of the trophies and achievements are around levelling up multiple times. Which is why this game, I think, is slightly more difficult for people. Because you have to survive quite a few levels to be able to do that. Um, so, yeah. I had a great blast playing Rick Henderson. There's... Because it's endless and it's endless loops, this is really a high score, score attack style game more than anything else. You have an easy, well, a standard, sorry, and a hard mode, and then there is boss rush mode too. Outside of that, it's just up to you to kind of make your own fun and set your own bar and challenge. So if you aren't into score attacks, maybe Rick Henderson might not be for you. But anyone that's looking for a good retro shoot 'em up has a lot of balanced mechanics and offers a lot of flexibility in its replayability because you never get the same kind of loadouts of everyone twice in quick succession. Then perhaps Rick Henderson could be for you. Bring a review over on highplangames.com. Take care. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.